Ajit. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can say the same. <laughs> That's good. Hi, Neil. Hi, Peter. Hi, Jennifer. Hello. Hi, Mayor. Copy that. Hi. Anybody need a shovel? <laughs> I'd like one for the library, please, and for the oh. fire station. Oh, hi. <laughs> and the fire station. I said, and the fire station. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Hi, Bob. Do we have David yet? <laughs> I don't see him yet. I see Amy. Would that be David? No, probably okay. Amy. I could chat with her. See. Good afternoon, all. Hey, Deputy. Hi there. Hey, Steve, how are you? Oh, how are you guys doing? Uh, Sounds like her. It's just not up. Who did the notes from the last meeting? The temporary. They were outstanding. <laughs> yes, they were. Absolutely. Good job. Oh, there's Dave Mascaratolo. I saw him. Well, I thought I saw him. Or I thought I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm trying to... There he Can is. <laughs> Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can anyone hear me? Yeah. Sure. I, I'm revamping. Got you, Dave. Okay, great. I'm revamping my office, and uh, I don't have my desk anymore, so I'm working off a file cabinet. <laughs> Does it look like we have? Let me. I'm just checking to see if looks like we have everybody on. Um, Jen and Jean. Carol's on, Neil's on. Uh, is Herb Forgey on? I don't see her. I don't see, I don't see There Herb. he is. There he no, is. I see him. There he is. Yeah. Okay. All right. How about Peter? Peter? The chief knows how Peter's technologically there. advanced I am, so. Okay. Peter's on. All right. So I think everyone's on. So I think we gave him a roll call. Is everybody ready to get started? Yeah. All right. So we're starting. Uh, we're going to open up the meeting today. Um, it's 4 p.m. And I want to ask before the, uh, September 21st, I want to ask if anybody is recording the meeting. I know the city is going to be recording the meeting. Is there anybody in the general yeah. public or on the on the uh, team that's recording? Yes, Jaden Grazik. Okay. Uh, um. Hi, Dave. Hi, Mayor. Uh, I didn't. Um, I didn't. I didn't have an option to record when I'm on. I. I think if you might have. Let me. Let me just check. Well, I can't say that the city is recording this one right now because you have to click a button on it, and I don't. I don't see it anywhere. Um. Hold on a sec. Let me see. If I can do it on my iPad. 
There are two. Wow. Other, there are two other City of Greenfield icons up that are host and co-host. I don't know who those are, but whoever's the host should have control over that. Yeah, yeah. Well, City of Greenfield. That's the host. It, it, is. Could, be, it could be Bill um, across the hall and ask. I didn't. See, I think I came on as the co-host. So let me just check. Can we uh, tape the um, the meeting? That's what we're talking about. Record. Uh, who are you talking to? Your office will take care of it, Mayor. Okay. So we'll be recorded here shortly. Okay, but I needed great. my exercise. <laughs> you want to do a couple laps in the meantime? Yeah. <laughs> All right. In that uh, corner. Great. All right. So we'll start. Let's. I want to do a roll call so we can start. Chief Strahan. Here. Herb Forgey. Here. Wall. Here. Peter McGyver. I'm here. Jennifer, you're on. I see you. Jennifer. Yeah. Here. Great. And um, Carol, you're on representing. Carol Collins, are you on representing the, the city? Yes. Okay, great. And Mayor Sproxy and Rita Gardner's on. And Neil Joyce, you're on? Yes. Okay, great. I don't think I've missed anybody. Um, I must have an older list. Uh, I have Steve uh, and David Singer. Were they not part no, of this? No, they're not on no. the committee. Okay. Not on this one. They were on the temporary site. I don't know. Got He's it. wrong. <laughs> We had to shorten the number of people on the committee, if you'll recall, at the last meeting, I think, um, so that we could get a real quorum. Because we didn't couldn't have an even number, I guess. Somebody had to bow out. But. Even though we decided where our voting is recommending to the main, the main yeah. committee. Yeah. We're not, we're not. Uh, Butch was going to try to get on the meeting, but he said if he was able to, it would be a little bit on the later side anyway. Okay. That's great. All right. Um, can I have a motion to approve the minutes? Oh, I would be them, happy to make a motion minutes? to approve those outstanding minutes that were done. Yes, outstanding, Jennifer. Outstanding. I think <laughs> you have. Seconded. Out, yeah, you have some competition, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Do we, is there a second? Second. All right. Um, is there any um, discussion? No, I'll do my best for the uh, full meeting to meet the same standard. <laughs> Jennifer, you're keeping everybody at a high standard. I really felt like I was just trying to work up to Peter's standard. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any discussion or corrections anybody wants to talk about? Okay. Um, Sorry, I wanted to look at my notes for a second to see if I had any. All right, can we take a vote on approving the, the minutes? Just raise our hands and say approved. 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 I seem to have a camera malfunction, but I'm approving. Yeah, raising hands. You need voice votes. Yeah. Voice votes. Yeah. I don't think we have to take a roll call for the minutes. No. If, if everybody could say approved at the same time. Approved. 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 Okay, great. Min minutes are approved. All right. Great. All right. I sent out an agenda. Um, I think everybody received it. I hope. Um, Can I just bring up an issue real quick? Yes. I Carol. see a. a an email from Ed Berlin. He says he's the host. Okay. He doesn't know how that happened and, and uh, is wondering how to change that. So I know in terms of recording, that what might be an issue. Uh, I can't answer that question because I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't I'm not sure how that happens. I don't really know either. I'm, I'm just, replying uh, to his chat now. Yeah. I, Maybe we could ask those. It, it really questions. doesn't. It doesn't. 
matter particularly because I don't think we're sharing a screen or anything today. So no, but maybe he can record the meeting and then it can be shared or something. So I, had already, I think, I think the, the mayor's office is recording it, so we don't. Says, okay. okay. I have a little icon that says meeting is being recorded. Yep. Okay. All right. So I uh, just uh, I think we can start going through the agenda. There's a lot to cover. Um, I did want to just um, the the first item that I had uh, was to talk about the steps to secure the Hope Street um, temporary lot because I think there's a lot of steps that um, have we have to the city has to go through and the the um, the building committee in the temp committee needs to go through to make sure that location is ready. Um, Neil had put together um, a slideshow. He promised me it would be it would take ten minutes. <laughs> Um, but I think that will give us all a sense of some of the things that we need to think about to secure that site. Um, so I wanted to ask Neil if he could run through that. And, um, I, I, and uh, sorry, Neil, go ahead. I was going to say, I certainly can, Dave. I'm just, I am not seeing any video feed from anyone. So I'm sure that if I share my screen, it will work. You but I will do my best. Computer. You need to get a brand new Mac computer. It's your old computer. No, I, I don't know. You want to try? If not, we could um, we could talk through it. Um, so I'm trying to share it. Yeah, maybe it's not working. Uh, Neil, do you want to send it? Can you email it fast to one of us and we can try to share it while you walk through it? Would that help? I don't think I could. I don't think I can. Share Nothing. It on my, um, Neil, can you email it? I, I can email. I can email a PDF to it. Yeah. Can you? Can you? Can you email it to respond back to the email that the group was on? Because I'd like everybody to have a copy anyway. And it looks like he's freezing up. Here it is. That's no. what I'm trying to do now, Mayor. Okay. I find an email that I got from everyone that has the links on it. it Here we go. It, yeah, send it to the one that I sent the agenda on. I just sent it out. You guys should have it momentarily. Well, we're waiting for that. I can also now allow you to share content, looks like. Well, I'm not sure, come to think of it. Jen, Still sending, hold on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Well, in the meantime, I think I think it's important that we start thinking about um, what it's going to take. Um, I think I think there's a lot of things that probably we don't know, um, and that we all need to be educated on, and also educate. We can all educate each other in the city on what it's going to take to you know get that site prepped and ready. Um, so I think Neil's um, presentation again will will uh, get us. Uh, our thinking caps flowing on what it's actually going to take to secure the site and move forward. Can everybody see that? Yes. Yeah, we okay. can. That's from me, so I can control the PowerPoint as yep. long as Neil can see it. <laughs> well, we can tell him what page we're on too if we have to. Neil, can you see the screen, or is it just are you just doing um audio? Earth to Neil. Is he still on? He looks we like good? Yeah. He looks like okay. he's just spinning away. There he is. Neil, can you see the screen or are you just an audio? Uh, I am just, you just got. 
OK, how about this? I'll read the title of the screen and Neil just go along with it on your side. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think I don't know. Something's going on or, or going on with his connection, so we could we could start walking through it, I think. Um, maybe he has to jump off and then come back on. Well, why don't you? Um... Dennis, is this something that you can help with this? We scroll through. Sure. OK, let's do that. Dave, you mind if we do that? We'll start. No, right I think that's a good idea until Neil can get back one. It's fine. There's going to be a lot of discussion about it anyway, so let's get started. Take it over, Dennis. OK, um, title slide. <clears throat> We are still working with the on this slide too. We're still working with a uh, company to determine whether or not we can do a single uh, single base structure as opposed to two separate ones. We don't have that answer yet, so that's still a work in progress. So th this was the original drawing that we saw last week, where it had the two bays and it had the one single building. So I think everybody has seen this slide before. Uh, when you say the one single building, what you're referring to no, right, I mean, is two two rental trailers. Yes, two rental trailers. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And these are not the these are not the full conceptual drawings. Just so everybody understands that. Correct. <clears throat> we have not. Uh, we have not changed um, Neil's original schedule. We've left that the same. The only thing we did do was ask on the permanent building, uh, we need two months up front for schematic as opposed to one. Move on, Dennis. Yep. OK. Oh. All right, so this is what we've asked DPW to help us with is get some more um, to get some more information on the actual slopes we're dealing with and dimensions so that we can see how those temporary structures can actually work and can they, you know, be again, one, one or two, and how can we really set them on these parking levels? So, uh, I think you reached out, um, Chief, didn't you? Or did uh, Neil reach out? Somebody reached out to DPW to help us get some information. I heard um, Marlo reports in on many things regularly, and he did say they were fast and furiously gathering whatever information was asked of them. Good, good. Uh, I don't know. I would think, I don't know what the holdup in getting it to someone is, but I haven't seen it. I don't know if you have, Chief Strickland and uh, Neil. I don't know if Neil's on or not, but okay. Right. So I gotta believe they'll have it. Dennis, Dennis, I don't hear me. I spoke with Marlo. Whoa. Oh, we had you, and then we lost you. Yeah, yeah he's having feed problems. Uh. Do do we have a do we have a list of um, the questions that were asked? Uh, yeah, essentially, essentially, you are looking at the questions that were asked. So we we're asking for uh, slope information. Yes. And, and width and length. I seem to be having some network issues. Well, hang in there with us. So, yes, those were the questions that we had asked them if they could uh, help clarify. Okay, so we haven't received that information back then. That's uh, correct. Maybe Neil no, but right now we, we're not sure if we've received the information back. Correct. Okay. okay. We are expected to receive that information in the beginning of this week. Okay. So possibly by next meeting. Terrible connection. <laughs> All right, we can we can move on. All right, I think Neil's so we'll banging. Someone's banging. Playing Hold on. All right. So in terms of the next steps, I mean, we're not changing the next steps. 
obviously, once we know a little bit more about the site, we will actually move on those concept layouts and design drawings a little bit more. Um, something a little more definitive than just, uh, you know, three colorful boxes. Uh, the other thing we have to do is we still have to meet virtually with the chief and go through a temporary program so that we know we're getting all the right things in there and that how big those trailers need to be and other spaces need to be in those uh, temporary tents. So, Chief, look forward to that. We'll probably do that next week. Understood. Thank you. And Neil, I don't know if you can hear us, but certainly would like you on that with us if you're available. So we'll send out some dates and uh, make sure everybody's there. Um, Sounds good, Dennis. Okay, good. So we can't hear you. Dennis, right. would you mind going back up that, to that slide again? I just wanted to make sure everybody got a chance to see. Okay. Um, yeah, the procurement decisions are important. <laughs> lease versus purchase, and then the RFQ bid process, which is lengthy. You know, it's a it's a month long, or better by a week or two process. That's all. <laughs> Just, Thank you, Mayor. Yeah. Um, conceptual layout. This was just. Uh, not even sure what this one was. I think this was just trying to get an idea of what on the uh, right hand side of what one of those bays might look like. So you can see they're all, one of them is a drive through the bay on the bottom, two bathroom bays and some support space, if you will, behind them. And for the second tent, or if there is a single tent, uh, there may be some additional support space required in there. That's that's where the design will will go was you know to solidify what really needs to be based on the program. Dennis, that's the layout of the Lexington Temporary Fire Station. Oh, is that what we did? That's one. All right, because that would look fairly similar to the one we do here. The only caveat that I'd like to, the subcommittee to know is that if we went to a single bay or a single structure for the apparatus bay, it would have to be in the middle parking lot, not the lower parking lot. The lower parking lot does not have a, a, enough of a turn radius for us to get the tower out and to get on the Hope Street. Uh, <laughs> The so, single structure actually spans the two parking lots, and that's why we need the slope information. Um, we're working with one of the manufacturers of these temporary structures to try to uh, see if that's a possible cost savings for the city. Okay. Neil, can you hear us now? Yeah, it seems like I have a better internet connection in a different room in my house. So here I am. Did you? Did you? Um, did you get any information back from the DPW yet? Or did you talk about a timeline with them and when you might be seeing that information? Conversation, the conversation that I had with Marlo and Alan Twarog, they were planning to get out, do the survey information the early part of this week. And I think they had a good understanding of uh, the urgency that we were asking for the turnaround. They were very responsive to my initial emails. And I expect they'll move along as quickly as they can. Okay, great. Thank you. Good to hear. We need to move up. Yep, one more. So uh, Neil was good enough to take some uh, pictures of what we did at Lexington. Um, this is just a temporary structure. There are you know several companies that do these. They're all fairly similar. Um, but what you can see on the right hand side is just a very simple unheated covered walkway that leads back to the Liberty Mutual building, which we used for the um, admin and living portions of the building. And then in, in the parking lot is where we erected this uh, temporary tent. So it just gives you, it gives you an idea of you know, what to expect. Next one, Chief. And again, you know, some more pictures that, that Neil was good enough to take. 
Um, you know, the inside, and you, you can see they've got a lot of stuff in there. And then a little additional piece on the back just to hold some additional uh, storage space. The uh, turnout gear that's inside. So we did have to build, you know, some walls and a lower ceiling. You can see a heating unit on the top back left so that they store their gear, it can dry out, and you know, they have a place for it. And again, additional pictures. You see uh, in the middle is the uh, breathing air apparatus. They're filling the air bottles, uh, workroom over on the right, and some additional equipment on the left. And finally, actual apparatus. So if you look in the back of this photo, you can see the wall uh, where they've got some equipment hanging off the wall. But you can see we created a uh, smaller set of spaces in the rear. And then the HVAC equipment uh, is on top of that. And it's the small spaces in the rear or for the maintenance bay the uh, self-contained self -contained breathing apparatus equipment and the turnout gear storage. Okay. <clears throat> Some additional pictures. So you can see that, that the amount of storage, you know, they've got the walls lined up with hose and other mm -hmm. equipment and things. So it, it's just a matter of, you know, the chief and his crew deciding just how much stuff they need in there, letting us know, and then we'll get some idea of how big we need to make this thing. Uh, one thing I will say is when we did this particular one in Lexington, it did not, we did not bid it with insulation, which was a terrible mistake on our part. Uh, we fixed that. We found a way to hang some insulation in it. Uh, the ones that we are looking at now come with the heaters, with the insulation, the overhead doors, the van doors. So, uh, you know, they come with all that. And at least that's how we would bid it. And again, just, you know, additional pictures. Dennis, do you know if uh, auxiliary storage like this is 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 cheaper for a tent structure or to bring in like a Connex trailer type thing? I, I don't have an answer to that, to be honest with you. But um, what we can do is, uh, as Adam is talking to these folks, we can certainly look into it and, you know, get those numbers. And is... Um... Uh, we need f uh, four or five bays, correct? Correct. Yeah. L looks like Lexington only had three. They had three, but uh, one of them was uh, double deep, if you will. Double deep. I believe they were able to put uh, one or two pieces of equipment elsewhere. Mm, okay. Yeah, we 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 have. Um... Uh, 11 main, main pieces of equipment that are going to have to fit in this building, plus smaller equipment. Chief, when you mean equipment, you mean roll, rolling equipment, trucks, yep. right? Large vehicles. 11? Yeah, with two ambulances, two fire engines, a rescue truck, a tower truck. Uh, we have a hazmat truck, which could be, if in a pinch, removed and placed someplace else. Uh, uh, I'd rather not if we can, but um, so yes. And then we have s several smaller pieces of equipment that would have to be housed in a heated stall, including a brush truck and a boat. Okay. Okay. Yes. Good to know. Dennis, we're on Belrica. Uh, yeah, Neil, I'm going to have to let you talk about yep. this. Sure. So um, this is just an example 
of a smaller temporary structure that the uh, town of Billerica used. And it has um, a single bay um, vehicle storage on the on to the right of the picture. And in the rear was a simple double wide trailer that they pulled in behind uh, for living quarters. That again, that was a substation that is not intended to be directly uh, related or compensatory to Greenfield. It's just to give an idea of what we may do um, for living quarters going forward. And these, the, the last couple of slides were just uh, examples of other temporary stations that have been done. This particular one was four bays wide. Next slide, Chief. Yeah. Uh, the photo on the left is what the interior of a very simplistic structure would be. And the photo on the right is to demonstrate that these structures can be installed on sloping surfaces as long as the difference between heights is not significant. And then the last slide was really simply uh, a statement of the goals and objectives, and that's to provide a fully functional station at the lowest possible cost. Keeping in mind our mindset is that every dollar spent is one less dollar we need or have for the permanent facility. And the photograph shows a very simple uh, road cone with a mop handle out of it and the umbilical for air and electricity at the, at the uh, truck is simply stuck in the cone and keeps, it keeps the umbilicals out of the way. But it's, I thought it was a great example of Yankee firefighter ingenuity to solve a problem <laughs> inexpensively. Yeah. <laughs> and it worked, right? No oh, instances so far. Sorry, <laughs> sorry for the technological glitches, people. No worries. Well, uh, thank you for that, uh, putting that together, Neil. Appreciate it. Does anybody on the committee have anything they want to discuss with respect to the slides that they just saw, or any concerns, um, questions? I do, David. Uh, Roxanne. Go ahead, Mayor. I just wanted to say I, I have not received my slides yet, so I don't know if you ended up emailing them out, Neil, or not, um, but we should get a copy of them. Yes, I can, I can send it. Neil, I, Neil sent them to me about a few minutes before the meeting, so I can definitely okay. send them out to everybody. Or did, Neil, okay. did you send them out to everybody when you sent them out just now? I got my copy. Mm. Well, I'll check again. I mean, our firewall may have stopped them, but I, it, it doesn't usually. Okay, I can I can send them out. I can send them out again. I just sent it to the mayor. Thank you, Chief. Are there any other questions? Did you have other questions? I did not. Does right. anybody have, have any questions or anything they want to talk about with respect? We have I've got a quick one for Neil. That, we have other items that kind of match these this set of drawings, but I'll yeah, ask well, now if anybody has specific questions. I, I had a few, if if I may, but I heard someone else speak up too. I, I don't know. I think the chief was asking a question, but he's on mute. Herb, Herb Forgey had a question, and oh, okay. like Carol had a question. Yeah, I do. I'm getting a weird display out here from my between mute and unmute and everything else. But Neil, um, you mentioned slope. Is there any feeling for what what degree we're looking at for maximum slope at this point? No, Herb. I I can't honestly speak to that because I I would really have to defer to the manufacturers of each facility okay. or each structure. And I would imagine that they'll be different uh, depending on the manufacturer. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Carol, you have a question? Yeah, just just a few clarifying and, and Jen, thank you. Again, those meeting minutes were amazing. It was almost like I was there. 
but I wasn't, so I, I may have missed a few things. But um, I guess one of my questions is we're seeing the five double deep bays currently on the conceptual. And um, I guess I, I still don't understand how the site's going to work because it sounded like there'll be minimal truck going on to prospect. And um, so... I, I and I, it sounds like you're all talking about that anyway, so I, I guess that's being considered because I just don't see how you you can't turn around once you're in the lot, right, Chief? Uh, I don't know yet. To be determined. Our smaller pieces probably our tower truck probably, and that you know if we have the um, the ability to drive through, then that may be an option for one of the bays. But um, I don't see five bays going in one block of of mm -hmm. you know, once one, you know, like the upper tier or the lower tier. I think right, you're gonna right. have, I think you're going to have to have two myself. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I'm just trying to make sure I understand the site. I, I did go out there, and good luck. Um, I yeah, do also appreciate. I'm sorry. Sorry, Carol. If we have to, we'll, we we will back in off a of prospect. Yep, yep, yep. But I, I only think that that may be necessary for only one of the trucks. Okay. And then um, I appreciate that an insulated structure is being looked at for the for the temporary. Thank you very much. I, I was just wondering if air curtains might be employed, and if so, if those could then be reused at the permanent site. So maybe um, what, do you, what do you mean by air curtains, Carol? When the uh, bays are open, there are air curtains. They get used in a lot of fire stations and also in stores to just kind of block the heated air from getting outside. And I assume those would be used in the permanent, so it could just help minimize the cost of operating it. Yeah, um, hopefully, hopefully, Carol, on the permanent, we're going to use radiant heat so that we're not heating the air itself. Um, so mm -hmm. one way or another, whether it's in floor radiant or above head radiant, uh, we should not have that problem. And the heating in the temporary uh, facility options we've been looking at are not that sophisticated and they're all furnished by the company as a part of the rental. So we are renting the heating equipment in addition to the building right. and those go back unless the decision is made to purchase. Okay, well, I'll, I'll leave it there then. Thank you very much. Does anybody else want to have, have anything that they want to add that, that is on the committee until before we move on? I'm just going through the- Yes, I got a quick question for Carol, if I could. Who, who's this, who's speaking? Herb, I'm sorry, Herb. Herb, go ahead. Carol, um, since they're talking about radiant heat, how would that fit in with the with uh, you're looking into the alternate energy types of things for the building? Would that go along with uh, uh, the town and its provision for elect electricity and the potential for putting uh, uh, an electrical unit on the roof, a solar unit on the roof? Um, I guess I. I don't know a tremendous amount about radiant heat. It is usually used for uh, like supplemental outdoor heat or big open spaces. I know it's it's usually uh, used as one of the better options that's out there, but I don't think we would want to entertain that for a permanent structure because we can do better. Um, so uh, the fact that it comes with the package and goes back with the package might be might be the best way to deal with it. Thank you. And, Honestly, with fire stations, because the water use is so heavy, it's actually solar hot water that I've found is uh, a really great option to deal with, with the heavy water usage. So that that's what I've been looking into so far. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Um, if there's no other questions, I had a I had a part B to the first agenda item. Um, and it was to talk about what the city needs to do to prepare the site for full approval. Um, I, I don't know, Mayor, I, th this might be more geared towards your office. I'm not sure, but I wanted to see if a list could be put together on 
what are the steps to, you know, get to a point where, yes, this is the location, it's been approved. I know there needs to be public meetings, um, but I'm not too sure what the, t the timeline is and what the steps are that have to get us to the point where we know this is the site, uh, you know, outside of the architecturals, you know. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, I, I don't at the moment believe there needs to be any public meeting. Uh, it's a city owned piece of property. Um, we need it. Uh, I don't think there's a need for it. Um, but I'll certainly look into that and give that consideration. Um, it's similar across the board. Um, we do need to notify permit holders. We need to uh, attempt to make accommodations for the permit holders to the extent we can, like moving them into the garage, et cetera, et cetera. Um, uh, I'm just going off the top of my head, so we can we can attempt to put together a list for you. Uh, but I think you know that property is in the city's control. Uh, we will probably notify. Um, there is a plan to notify the Parking and Traffic Commission to let them know of our um, plans to do this and seek whatever advice they might want to give on that. Um, and right now, that is the extent I just need to know when we're going to need it um, based on the timeline. And right now, I, I can tell from the timeline, but, you know, that, will, that could possibly change over time. So at some point here, we will attempt to meet with uh, the neighbors. So in that sense, there may be a public meeting, so to speak, on just how to handle how the neighbors are going to be handled right now. We're planning to keep those resident permits, resident permits only. Um, and so, and finding uh, parking for people elsewhere. Okay, great. And on all, and all these items I can be, we can move, move, move together in conjunction with the drawings and the layout and the design. I mean, these things, the things that can start, I think now, correct? Uh, that's not for me. That's Neil or Dennis. I mean, I if, if we're going to have if we if we're going to have a public meeting, and we're going to have to, I mean, we should. I'm, I'm trying to just figure out what the timeline of that is. We should probably have a a, a conceptual set of drawings that are going to be the drawings that we're going to use. I mean, that, that's what I'm guessing in my mind. Um, but Neil, you know, do you have any take on that? Yeah, David, this is Dennis. Uh, you definitely want that because any meeting you're going to have, people are going to first ask, what does it look like? Yeah. But, you know, if we're going to pay for it, you know, what are we getting for what we're paying for? We have to have some visuals. So, so, so when, do you, when do you think the conceptual drawings can be started? Once, once we get the list from the chief on what the requirements are? Is that when the, the clock starts ticking on the conceptual drawings? Yes. Yep. So we should be getting info uh, this week from um, DPW, and we'll take a look at that, obviously, as soon as we get it. Uh, I'll be talking to the chief next week, <clears throat> and then immediately starting on some kind of conceptuals. Okay. And what do you think, like, phase one? of conceptuals that we could look at will take? How long do you think that will take? About a week or two, no more. Okay. <clears throat> okay, great. All right. Does anyone on the committee have any questions uh, or follow up with respect to the question that I asked as far as what the city has to put together um, th so we can move forward? Yeah, David, let me just say this. Um, I, I misunderstood what you meant by a public meeting. I was thinking <laughs> the kinds of public meetings you and I know about are, you know, permits are attached to those meetings. Uh, and sometimes votes can, can be uh, swayed by that. But um, no, we would certainly have a uh, information only type of public meeting where we, we let the public know once we have more accurate and information so it's important to know when we get close to that date so we can schedule something 
because it will not be an in-person meeting. It will be some sort of public um, Zoom. I mean, um, you know what I'm talking, web yeah. meeting. Yeah, web meeting. Yeah. 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 And I think it's right. We have to have the the, the drawings um, before we can do yeah. this. So. And, and, you know, those help, those pictures, live pictures <laughs> for people who don't, deal with drawings are very helpful. Uh, they won't be ours, but the city of Lexington and so forth. So mm -hmm. we'll, we'll keep those in mind. Okay, great. Does, does anybody else in the committee have anything they wanna talk about with respect to the question on what it's gonna take to, you know, bring it to the, to have it move forward and what it, it's gonna take the city to um, move it forward? Okay. Okay, I don't see anybody's hand up and I'm scrolling through. <laughs> this is Jen. I'm just oh, gonna, gonna, this is gonna sound a little bit gratuitous, but like, you know, when I look at the conceptual phasing and I, I think, you know, where can we find a little more time, you know, like give ourselves, speed things up and give ourselves the ability to really do this in the time frame that's already a little bit scary. Um, I would just love us to, you know, Dave, your questions were the right questions, but I, I didn't hear like dates, you know? So I think what I'm just wondering is, can we put a date on when the conceptual drawings are gonna be done? You know, it sounds like we kind of know enough about what the variables are at this point and that someone could hopefully with some confidence say like, October 15th, we'll have some conceptual drawings. Like I don't wanna push on and be unrealistic, but you know, the way I think about things like this, when you have a project that has, you know, a hundred or a thousand variables is you have to like money ball the thing. You have to like, you know, nail everything a little bit. And I yeah, think yeah. if we think of every single step in this as taking a week, even if it really shouldn't take a week, then the processes that take one to two weeks, really like making drawings, which does take some time are kind of pinched. So that's, that's my two cents on timing. Dennis, do you think we'd be in a good shape for our next uh, temporary meeting? I'm sorry, what, what was that? Can you repeat that again, Chief? Yeah, I think we would be able to uh, have the, at least the first part of this that we talked about for our next temporary meeting, which is in two weeks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to sit down with Kate and Adam. We're going to look at our resources and do just what uh, Jennifer asked for. We'll put together a schedule. And, and, you know, each each item, you know, for example, the programming, the drawings, uh, the DPW, you know, we'll, we'll assign a date, you know, and the, and the whole thing's going to be the start date from uh, DPW, but we will assume that start date, you know, this week sometime, and then we'll go from there. Okay, great. Thank you for that input, Jen. Appreciate it. I think dates are very important. Um, keeps us um, on track, definitely. Um, okay. Well, if there's no other questions with respect to that, um, the next item I had on the agenda um, was, I, I know that um, Chief Strahan gave us a great presentation last time, um, and we got to leave and digest what he had shown us, and I wanted to give folks a chance to be able to comment on the um, what they saw, if anything came up, you had any other questions, or if the chief chief had anything to add to um, the presentation that he gave us. But I wanted to open it up to if anybody had any comments or suggestions after they saw the uh, the slideshow that the chief chief presented to us. And David, if I could for a half a second, there are two items that I neglected to talk about. Uh, when I did the presentation, the first one is uh, uh, emergency generator power uh, has to be taken into consideration. Uh, and the other okay. part that I neglected to talk about was some type of um, uh, comms erection, communications um, uh, erection of a um, of a um, a tower or something, something small. Uh, so there are two items that we need to address within that. That's I forgot to mention that, so I wanted to mention that now. Seems like two pretty important items. Yep, yep. That's why I've got good firefighters. They remind me when I miss something. <laughs> well, that's pretty, well. That that's why I put it on the agenda because it gave a chance for the subcommittee to digest what you had shown us, and you know, you came up with a couple other things. So that that's good. Um, 
Do any of the co co committee, co committee members have um, any comments or anything that they noticed when we went through the slideshow? I thought it was an excellent slideshow and I, I and I would really encourage that that slideshow be presented to the um, counselors. Because it has been mailed to the counselors. Excellent. Because you are right. It's just not a building that you're housed in. It's way more than that, a garage. So I, I can't say that they looked at it, but I and there's counselors on here, so maybe they could chime up, but chime in. But yeah, I mean, eventually these things, some of them shortly, we have, we'll put the minutes on our, our on the website and we'll put the um, any of those kinds of things that are ready to be put on the website, we will put them on the website. Great, thank you, ma'am. For, for the public as well, so. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So no, no other questions or comments with respect to the slideshow? I don't see anybody raising their hands, okay. Um, thank you. Uh, the next item I had was talking a little bit about the program between the, um, um, Pacheco Ross and uh, the chief. Um, and if we could, did, did we kneel down a timeline that that's gonna happen within a week? I don't wanna put pressure on folks, but chief, what is your take on that? Is it something that we could get wrapped up so we can move into um, drawings within a yeah. week? So I'll defer to death on this, but I think we're gonna plan on early next week to start yeah. that and hopefully be able to report back at our next meeting. Yep. That's okay, so the goal, the goal is to have a complete by next meeting. Yeah, the most of the work is already done and available on the city webpage. Uh, if you go to the mayor's homepage uh, within the city, uh, on the right hand side, there's a little link that gives you to public safety building. All the previous studies are available for anybody that wants to take a look at. So if there's any, there's a lot of information on that. <laughs> so okay. Feel so some of it, uh, some of it almost 10 years old, however. Yeah. yeah, you're right, Mayor. The first study was actually 1994. That's on there. Oh, well, that's, that's even more than 10. <laughs> <laughs> but I can count. <laughs> but this pro this program is specifically for what your needs are in the temporary yeah. fire station. Yeah, and that can be found. The original programming was done in the 20. 2012 uh, programming, which is available on the city's webpage if anybody okay. wants to take a look at it. Okay, great. It has changed a little bit. Some of the trucks have changed. Some of our needs have changed a little bit, but not a lot. It's pretty accurate. Okay. Yeah, will you, will, will, will you be able to put a, a presentation together for our next meeting on that, um, along with the, the, the document that I think is going to be put together on the programming? I don't think, I don't uh, I'm sure that Dennis and I can put together a summary of the areas that we cover during the program review. And then depending on how much progress we can make on schematic floor plans or whatever you want to call it, we certainly will present whatever work product is ready. Correct. Correct. Uh, we'll have a we'll have a program for sure, David. <clears throat> and like Neil says, uh, you know, whatever information we have, you know, as far as we can get those plans progressed, we will. So the the, the plans that you'll show us on um, next meeting uh, will be at the start of the plans. I mean, obviously, they're not going to be the full conceptual drawing package, correct? I would assume they would not be there yet, correct. Okay. And maybe next time we meet, we could talk about a timeline to and when when we think the full package gathering all this information we could talk about a date for when we could expect to see maybe the full package okay yep okay great can i ask a question please yes to carol That's you. chief strand you said the the information was on the city's website so i'm on the fire department's web page and I went under the Public Safety Commission and it comes up blank and I don't see what yeah, link so it the, Yeah, go ahead. Karen, there's a roundabout way to get that to that and it, uh, and I apologize for that, but go into the uh, departments under the mayor's office. Yep. Go into the right hand side where it says additional pages. Scroll down to the third from the bottom and it says public safety building project. Ah. 
I just shared the link to that in the chat. And there is. Yep, a, there it is. Thank no, you. Did somebody say they put the link in the chat? I yes, I just did. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, Adam. There is a ton, not a problem. There is a ton of information on that page. There is. Thank you. All right, great. Um, the next agenda item was talking about construct a construction timeline. We've seen the timeline um, earlier in our first meeting. We saw a timeline in the um, the presentation, Neil, that you just gave. Um, I I I would like. My, I mean, my goal is not to rush it, but to see if we could do a little bit better. But we're really not going to know that, I think, until we start seeing drawings and we start seeing the whole plan put together. But I did have construction timeline on my agenda if anybody wanted to speak to that. Uh, on, are you asking for more detailed information or more assured information beyond what's on that timeline of all the steps? Well, that, yeah, I, 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 timeline is on there, but it's in months only. Yeah, I, I'd like to. I, I just uh, what I would like to see is it improved and not broken up in in months, but maybe in weeks, like Jen had mentioned. But I'm not too sure sure we're there yet. But it's just a, a talking um, line that I wanted to make is I'd, I'd like to start seeing it maybe in weeks as opposed to months. And so I wanted to get other people's input on what they feel and also. Of course, Neil's input on that too. Uh, Dave, if I may, I think the I think we'll be able to certainly drill it down into weeks as the design progresses and as we get closer to having a completed set of documents, we can start talking about when ads may appear in the central register, what the statutory requirements are for the length of, or duration of bids whether or not sub-bid packages will be involved. All of that information will become available, but it's just too early to speculate with any degree of certainty what that may be. Okay, okay. Is there is there any um, thing like, I mean, I'm not fully up on it, um, but I know that there's, um, you know, the state has, the state already has like, you know, pre-bid pricing for items and that type of thing. Um, is that some, is it, will that help out in increase the timeline? I mean, I know some things have to go out for bid and some things don't because there's already pre-approved pricing through the state. Does that apply to any of this project? There may be opportunities, Dave, to get or solicit some labor um, through state bid contracts. Um, however, Items like site work is not uh, is not able to be procured through state contract. So okay. if we wanted to if we wanted to hire a carpenter to build some railings or to build some walls, those services are certainly available under the um, state bid procurement process with uh, previously vetted vendors. Um, however, it's not always the best value for the city to pursue options outside of a competitive bid environment. But again, procurement, all of those decisions will be made once we have a better handle on what exactly it is we're trying to build. Okay. Could Great. I comment? Could I yes, comment, absolutely. David? Yes, yeah. I, I just wanna make sure that, that folks on the on the call and on the committee understand that that the, 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 the price of the actual apparatus bay and those things is, is big enough that it does have to go out for an RFQ. You may find in your searches several companies, but we don't have the opportunity to pick one per se unless they happen to respond to the RFP, RFQ process. So okay. um, that is a lengthy, as I mentioned earlier, that's a, a, a minimum month long, maybe plus a couple of weeks um, process. Um, so whenever we get to that point, and I, I would hope the sooner we can, the better we will be in terms of timing for that reason. But uh, people don't have to understand that there is a link, a fairly lengthy process that does involve interviewing the, uh, the, the 
uh, hello, <laughs> people who responded, the responders. Yes. Uh, oh. Great, thank you, Mayor, for that information. Mm -hmm. Just so we could all understand that, that timeline. I appreciate yeah. it. Um, does anybody have any questions or comments about construction timeline other than what Neil and the mayor have uh, given us as far as information? Mm -hmm. I don't see anybody raising the, I'm sorry, I'm scrolling through my uh, iPad here. I can't have everybody up on the full screen, so. Um, all right, I'll, I'll I'll ask a question. I'm moving my hand the wrong direction. I, got, I can see you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like this and it's going. Anyway, um, I, I just, based again on the minutes, it, it looks like um, construction on a temporary location will start in spring and relocation will happen in the summer of 2021. And that the permanent station will be completed, it says for the better part of two years. So, uh, are we looking at 2022, 2023 on that? Yes, that's the that's the preliminary that's the preliminary plan right now. Uh, the permanent station will require, and Dennis, you can chime in, roughly six to eight months to prepare bid documents. Once we go out to bid, the bidding process for a project of that size, I would guess, would be anywhere between six and seven weeks. Once we get the proposals, there's an exchange of contracts and bonds, which mm -hmm. typically takes, uh, you know, another two weeks. And then mm -hmm. you're looking at probably 16 to 18 months of construction, depending on what our overall project looks like. And I think if you run all those dates out, we've, we've given it to the committee previously, it gets you into the third quarter, late summer anyway, of 2023. Okay. That sounds right, Neil. I agree. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? All right. Great. Um, the next item I had was um, to talk about additional work or plans the committee members could start taking a look at. Chief, maybe this might be geared more towards you. You, you went through a lot of stuff on your. Um, on your um, slideshow, and there were things like housing, um, that very important um, historical piece of equipment that we have, and other things. Um, so I'm wondering, is there anything outside that you could think of outside of what you had mentioned to us that maybe isn't so connected to like fire station equipment and that type of thing that we have to start taking a look at? Um, anything that comes across your mind, or you know, in, with respect to that type of thing. Yeah, uh, not a lot more than what we talked about. Uh, like I said, we do have stuff that is going to be put into storage until it can be put out properly at the permanent station. Uh, I will uh, say that we do have some caveats that we have to follow about the existing station. And so there are a few items uh, that we have to uh, maintain and keep with us and, and make sure that they're in good, good working order. Uh, or preserved, I should say. They are the bell tower and cupola. Uh, is has to be maintained, uh, so that has to be given consideration when demolishing. And then we have to obviously find a place that we can, you know, I would think wrap it and place it someplace until it's ready to go to the new fire station. Uh, the cornerstone on the uh, at the station needs to be preserved. Uh, including the time capsule that's behind it. Um, at least two of the poles have to be taken and maintained and preserved until it gets put in the new firehouse. Uh, and the last uh, that's required, although it's going to be very difficult, uh, I think, is the mural that's on the, on the front of the firehouse. Mm. Uh, they would like that to be saved if at all possible. I think that that is going to have to be looked at as being redone, uh, completely redone by a local artist when we have the new fire station. So that's information that we'll have to talk about with the new firehouse. But those are the items that we are required to uh, to uh, give consideration and take with us. 
but they will they will need to be stored from from the point at which the fire station comes down and the fire station is built. That is so that's something that eventually um, one or the other of the committees or someone needs to take point on. Um, I'm thinking that some of that stuff can be done stored with the um, historical commission, but I don't. Uh, I don't. I, you know, I don't know that that they have that much storage room for everything. And certainly, uh, you know, who knows about belt tower cupola holes, and et cetera. So those are odd items to have to try to find safe storage for. So we'll have to all put our thinking caps on. I think for that. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, Chief. Have you contacted the historical commission yet to discuss any of it with them? Mayor, I have not. I have not had enough. Okay. Too. You know, is there somebody on the committee that could help you with that chief contacting them and you know I, or you know maybe we I, I think these four items should probably be part of the the temporary project seeing that they, the plans have to be made for them to be come come down and stored before they could do the demo um so um that's my take on it that they should be part of this committee um but the timing's got to be right, obviously. But if there's if, if there's things that other committee members can help you out with, you're a pretty busy guy, right? <laughs> you know. Yeah, we also we have stuff that's stored off site right now. One that comes to mind is is our uh, Paul well, Bear Bell uh, is nicely housed at GCC in a in a display case in the main entrance mm -hmm. at GCC. Uh, which is which has always been the intent that when we build the new firehouse, it will come back. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful restored bell, but there are a bunch of items that that, that are going to have to be inventoried. And the historical society has said, at least several years ago, said that they wanted to be a part of that process to help us maintain the history that we have in this building. If, you, if anybody hasn't seen, we have a tremendous amount of artifacts in this building. Uh, that that we need to preserve and, and and keep for future posterity. Well, there's there's other members on the committee here that can help out, and they're willing to. So, you know, those those are things that are important, and you you probably have the most detail. So, when and if you want their help, please ask for it. David or Forgy? Yes. Hi. Speak. I, I would be happy to work with the chief uh, as a go between with the historical society and the chief at the department to try to get this stuff taken care of. I would love, I would be happy to take any help that's being offered. <laughs> Great. Okay. I'll get to I'll get with you, chief, as soon as we can. Maybe that's something uh, I can throw uh, Eddie under the bus too to give a. <laughs> <laughs> see, he knows exactly uh, as well as you do, uh, uh, Deputy, that what what really needs to be uh, given a lot of consideration. I'd love to work with that on that if, he, if he's interested at all. I think it'd be great. <laughs> to be the tail of two deputies. Anybody else? Thank you for that. I appreciate, appreciate you volunteering for that. <laughs> that would be great. I, I think things like that will go a long way. We can get some of these things taken off the chief's plate. So thank you. All right. Um, the next item was new items. Does anybody have any new items that they can think of um, that we should be um, bringing to each other next meeting um, or in front of the city? Can anybody think of items that they have? Um, I just want to uh, make sure that you're going to be prepared to uh, report on Thursday at the at the full committee meeting on yes. uh, these last two meetings. I will be prepared. Okay. <laughs> we have a great note taker, so I'm definitely going to be prepared. <laughs> All right. Any anyone else with new items? Mm. Excellent. All right. Go go ahead. Was that you, Jen? 
Nope. Was somebody speak asking or speaking? All right. Well, I don't have anything else, and it's uh, five oh eight. So if there's nothing else, I will ask for a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Anybody? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Well.